Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're just going to show you guys how you can start better using Qualtrics. Specifically, we're going to get into how you can start allowing text entries onto questions that might not initially be intended for text answers. Now, this is really great for when you might need to give a respondent or a viewer an option outside of the list of answer choices. So if you might be creating a question with multiple choices but you might want to have the option of them adding a text entry since you might not list all the possible options this is a feature for you so allowing text entry basically lets you add a text box to a answer choice on your multiple choice list or your question list which then allows respondents to create their own choice so now that we told you how it works we're just going to go into the basics of this so let's first open a form where we will be adding a text entry onto a multiple choice question. Okay, so here in question two, we have a generic multiple choice question where we're asking about which product they purchased. Now, what if, let's say they purchased a product that's not on our list, but we can't really account for it since you might have way too many products. What we're gonna do is allow or create a fourth option where they can start inputting their own fourth possible option here. So first things first, we're obviously going to select quest the selected question since that's how we can start editing the specific block over here. Next, we are then going to create a fourth choice since, as you can see in the left-hand side over here, we currently only have three choices allowed. We're going to add a fourth one below. So if we add one, you can then click to write your choice. Now, instead of filling this in, what we're going to do is first select the text, then we're going to head over to this arrow button on the right side, which is connected to the option. If you were to select this on the top of your drop down menu, you will see the option allow text entry. So all you got to do is click this. And as you can see, a little text entry box will be available on the bottom. Now for the text on top itself, I typically like to write other or maybe something like Sorry about that. Or please input your own input if it's on the list. I think I'll just stick with other in this case since it seems pretty straightforward. And then at, on the little text entry bottom below, they will then be able to add whatever other product they might have purchased in this case. Now, what if I want to make this text box bigger? What if I need them to write a longer answer? So in order to do that, you just have to click the option again, in this case, to click other, then we'll head back over to the drop down menu. If you were to hit this, you'll see you can actually change the text entry size. So if you were to change it to large, right now it's immediately set on small, but if you hit large, the text box will get much bigger, meaning that they can basically start writing a longer answer if the case comes for it. But right now we're going to keep it on small. Another thing that you can also do is text entry validation. So here you can force your viewers or your answers to basically input only a certain type of text response. So let's say we only want a specific response. If you head over to text entry validation, which is right below text entry size, you'll see there are a lot of options here. In this case, I only want to allow text. So I can click this. And therefore, they cannot write any numbers down here. They can only write an actual word. Lastly, let's say that you want to force all of your respondents to answer and fill in a text box that might be on a multiple choice question. So in this case, you're going to head back over here, hit that little arrow button, open that drop down menu, head back to text entry validation, and then you're going to hit force response. This basically forces all people who might be answering your form to fill in this text box. They cannot proceed without actually filling it in. Right now, we're just going to revert it back to text only because we do not need to force this response. And that's all I really have to say about this. Hopefully, this helps you better manage any data collection you might be doing. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe if you need any more help when it comes to Qualtrics. Be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time!